Hello, friends, family, and the rest. It is Fallen Fury, and welcome back to more Let's Play Majora's Mask. In the last episode, I beat the frog boss and the eyeball boss and got the ice arrows and did some stuff with that. In this episode, I'm going to get the boss key as exhibited right here. And see that cool treasure chest? See, for some reason, I don't know why, my eyes must like mix the colors together, but I always thought it was green. Like, from far away, it looks green. I guess it makes sense, considering it's yellow and blue. But anyway, you get that. Jump through here, do an awesome dive. I love that, how he, like, dives when he's in water. Or, like, near water. It's so cool. But anyways, just turn to Azora right here. Swim, 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 swim. And if you go up to the top, there, um, to the other side of the, uh, fan room, there should be, there should be some water there, which you can't, you couldn't get to until now, because now you have the ice arrows, which you can do, which is awesome, but, because, yeah, but, um, what are you doing there, I can't even remember, Jesus Christ, I love this part because, like, well, not, I don't love it, it's kind of annoying, because you have to, like, time it right, you see those, see that water, get out your ice arrows, fire arrows, dumb shit, <laughs> Come on, Ice Arrows. There you go. Ice Arrows. Yeah. Okay. It's so weird playing this game. Like, I put up Green of Time before I played this, and, like, Ice Arrows, I didn't get them. Because, like, they're not really used. You don't use them in the game at all. Like, they're not required to beat it. They're not required to do anything. So it's weird to see me getting them in this game. Okay, I think in here, the whole point is you get that green. Yeah. The green pipe. This. This. This uh, room kind of sucks, and it's like I'm failing with the hook shot because it's not good. Knack knack, I think they're called. I don't know. I'm gonna shoot ice arrow as close as possible. I think I can make it. No, I can't. So I'm just gonna shoot on the water. Shoot on the water. In the water in this part, there's like a, one of those skeleton fish, but it's big and it has like four followers. So yeah. Oh, oh. Gosh, I thought I was gonna fall. Be careful, man. There's ba it's basically a refill station. There's some bombs and some magic and some stuff. I don't, I don't need it. So just shoot your ice arrow as close as possible to it. Like right there. That's good. Awesome. Epic dive. But I don't need that. Dude, I almost... Listen, oh, hold on. Look at, I can't jump. I can't... I, I got no. Ice is gonna melt. Get back there. I don't know. Oh my god, shit. Oh, oh. That was fucking close, dude. Awesome. I am so pro at this game. Just kidding. I suck at this game. <laughs> uh, who cares, right? It's all in good fun. So just turn to Azora. At least that's what I do. Oh, well, there's a straight ferry above there, but it's hard to get to from those holes above the water. But there's a hole above the uh, door, so you want to make sure you do that. When you get close to the... Uh, Fish, just uh, turn on your shield. You should be fine. Anyways, what I always do for this one, I always pull the hook shot, then aim at the target as far to the bottom as possible, then do a jump slash. You should make it, like I did. It's not that hard, but it's it's weird. It's like this is like the one that would always give people trouble because they don't know where it is. Like they see they have the great fairy mask and it's glittering. They can't. They don't know where it is, so it, make, it gives people some trouble. Oh, no, no, no. Anyways, since you have the green, the other green uh, pipe going, because, yeah, that's like the essential to beat the dungeon. I think there's like one or two of those things you can turn where it doesn't matter. Like, I don't know though. Anyway, you'll notice that the water there is on, so you can use a hookshot. Conveniently placed, by the way. And just like shot up here and fall in the water. Awesome. Okay. Push that. I don't know why they give you the option to push it like two times, because I don't see why. Oh, like I was going to say, I don't see why you need to do it again. But I can, I guess they forgot a straight fairy or something. I can see them want to do it. I've never needed to, but since you have the red one on, you have to turn the yellow one off. Uh, because right now the water current has stopped. 
And if you turn this, it'll turn, it'll make the water go in the uh, opposite direction, which is makes it so you can go in the other two doors that were underwater, which is cool. Um, there's some important things in there. Like my favorite room in the dungeon. I'll let you guys know what that is when you get there. Yay, I'm so excited. Can you hit my enthusiasm? Because I sure can. two rooms, which I'm pretty sure it's also red and green, and a green, or a red, I don't know. I can't really remember. I want to go in this one first, because this is more storyline oriented. Fast, fast, ouch. I <laughs> oh, love this part. This is the part I love so much. Actually, this isn't really the room, the other room I want. That's pretty awesome right there, what I just did, by the way. What I want to do here is jump on this platform. Make sure to get all the way up and freeze it. Freeze the water. So it'll stop the fan conveniently right there. So you just want to jump off. Like so. Like so. Like so, goddammit. Go. There you go. But instead, you want to uh, jump or go on these uh, pillars. Or. What are they called? Pillars? Um, I don't know. Go on the one other on the other side, and then you'll notice a a treasure chest. Yay, treasure! But it's a uh, only wooden brown, so it's a fairy tent, tent form. I guess what it says. So yeah, there's one more fairy in this room. It's a, it's it's a little more hard to get, it requires you to, to go back and do the puzzle again, which sucks, but it isn't that bad. Um, I have a little trouble finding it. Where are you? I think it's... I think it's under that blue pipe, but of course I can't find it, because I didn't do a test run of this part. Well, I did. Sorry about that. I did, but not, but not for the fairies. I thought I knew all the fairies were. Man, it just jumps right head first into that freaking uh propeller. Did you see that? He was like, oh, oh. It's pretty crazy. Oh, there it is. Hook shot to it. I think. I'm too far away. I think the whole point is you're supposed to go on the blade, or like the thing holding the blade, and uh, fire that uh, torch, but whatever. But I'm just gonna do this puzzle again, and yeah. I don't know why I turned into a Zora. I didn't need it. That was pretty dumb of me, but I digress. The next room, which I won't be able to get to in this video, reminds me a lot of the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time, and you'll see why. And no, it's not because of Iron Boots. Iron Boots are not in this game. Which is, you really don't need them, because you have the Zora Mask, which is cool. But just go up here, and... Luckily, in the next room, they provide choo-choos, like, up the buckle, like, seriously. So that's good, you know. I always like choo-choos. I don't think you're supposed to do that. I don't think you're supposed to jump like that, but I did anyway, so. Oh, don't want to stop me, because I am a rebel and... Uh, yeah, no more fairies. Got them all. 
and we get this room. I am so excited to do this room. Oh my god, but we'll see that next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask. This is Fallen Fury signing out. See you guys later.